power two third times five power negative x, you want to find what is zero point four x. Now, if you just observe this uh, equation here, right, you can see that four eight. You will think of base two. Now, if you look at twenty five and five, right, you will actually think about base five as well. So naturally, uh, thinking uh, what 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 goes on in your head, you will be thinking of like two power something, five power something, right? The base two base five that's uh, appearing. And that's what we want to do because when we look at 0 0.4 we also can see that this is a combination of uh, 0 0.4 can be written as 2 over 5 to the power of x which also can be written as 2 power x 5 power x so uh, 0 0.4 power x can be written as 2 power x 5 power x it will mean that if you are finding the value uh, likelihood the last step when you are solving this equation uh, upon solving right you you will know that your endpoint has to be two over two power x five power x equals to some numerical value, right? Equals to some number, equals to some constant, right? So that is what we are trying to achieve. Okay, so from here, right? Let's try to work towards pushing everything to base two and base five in this. Okay, now square root four power x. This is the same as four power x to the power of half. 25 here is the same as 5 power 2 to the power of x minus 1. On the right hand side, 8 to the power of 2 third, I'm going to change 8 to, to 3 and 5 to the power of negative x, I'll keep it as it is. Now over that, uh, now we'll try to push everything to base 2. Now 4 power x again can be written as 2 to the power of 2x right? because 4 is just 2 square. Right, and 2 power x, 2x, and half. Right, we know that in indices a power mn is the same as a power m times n. So over here, this will be 2x multiplied by half. So 2x multiplied by half gives us x. So you have 2 to the power of x. In the denominator, 2 multiplied by x minus 1. So just be careful, this is actually 2 multiplied by x minus 1. Okay, a lot of people will think that it's 2x minus 1, which is not true. It's actually 2x minus 2. So this is 5 to the power of 2x minus 2. On the right side, 3 multiplied by 2 third. This gives us 2 power 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of negative x. Okay, after which, uh, let's split up. Okay, I'm going to move 5 to the power of 2x over to the right hand side so that i mean we don't have to deal with fractions now okay so let's uh, try to make it simpler times 5 to the power of negative x times 5 to the power of 2x minus 2 okay now from this side i add negative x 2x okay so when we combine these two together i know that i mean if a power m times a power n in indices right this is just a to the power of m plus n Okay, so adding 5 power negative x, 5 power 2x minus 2, we are just adding them together. This gives us a multiplication of 5 to the power of negative x plus 2x minus 2. Okay, 2 to the power of x, now just copying what I have on the right. So 5 to the power of negative x plus x. That gives us a 5 power x minus 2. 2 power x equals to 2 power 2. Okay? Now, remember our outcome right, is to get 2 to the power x over 5 power x. So, I'm going to get there soon. So, to get there, right, I have to split up my x here. Okay, because we know if we need 2 power x over 5 power x, right, this is the 5 power x that has to go over to the left. Right? Just like solving linear equation, we try to push all the terms that has variables over to one side and all the numbers to stay on the other side in order to solve for the numerical value now here 2 power 2 let me just split it up this is 5 power x times 5 power negative 2 now i'm going to get there very soon now i push this term over to the right side 2 power x divide by 5 power x what i'm left on the right is just 2 power 2 Multiply by 5 to the power negative 2. A calculator will just tell you this is 4 over 25. 
on the right hand side can you see that this is basically 2 over 5 to the power of x which is also 0 0.4 power x and there you go 0 0.4 power x is actually equals to 4 over 25 okay let me just write it down 0 0.4 x power x is the same as 4 over 25 right so if you just look at the whole question in totality what are we doing is splitting everybody to base 2 base 5 so that and pushing the 2 power x and 5 power x to the left and putting all the constants towards the right side in order for us to solve the question thank you